In this video, we're going to take a look at the CSG operations available within the toolbox. Uh, let's start off by collapsing down the sections of the toolbox we won't be using by clicking on the small black triangles. So there we go. Now all we see uh, left are the various CSG operations, and those include add, subtract, intersect, and de-intersect. And what these are going to do is perform some operation involving the red builder brush, which I already have here in my uh, simple level that I've created here. So for starters, let's take a look at add, which is in the upper left-hand corner of these buttons. And if I click on this, boom, we see a certain amount of uh, volume added into the level. So you can see if I move the red builder brush out of the way, we see some uh, geometry. Now, what has just happened is that we have added an additive brush, or we have placed an additive brush into the level. Right. It's not so much just that the geometry got created, though it did. A, a preview version of some geometry was created so that we can see things in the shaded view. But more importantly, if you look at this in a wireframe view, we can see that there has been a brush added to the scene. We now have this blue additive brush now in the shape of the builder brush. That's right, and this blue brush's purpose is to define an area of additive geometry, and that's what the add button is going to do. It's going to create a volume of additive geometry for us to be, uh, to be placed in our level, which is what we have here. Now, currently at this time, all we really have, as Logan said, is a preview of this geometry. This uh, geometry won't be finalized until we rebuild our our geometry. So what we get is kind of a fast build. If I was to move the brush out of the way using the transform widget, you'll notice that the solid version of the brush remains in place, but the wireframe moves independently. So I could just click on the build geometry for current level button and once we uh, move the errors out of the way, everything updates. So that's a quick look at adding geometry. So without going too far into a discussion over uh, BSP operations and things like that, we'll just notice that this adds uh, a, an additive brush into the level that has the exact same shape as the Red Builder brush. So with that, let's go ahead and bring the Red Builder brush back up to the level. And in fact, I'm going to place it very strategically. Let me uh, demaximize this viewport and take a look at the top view. And I'm going to place the Red Builder brush right up against the wall here inside of our uh, level. And you can see here in the perspective view how it's uh, placed right up against this wall. And then I'm going to click the CSG subtract button. And what this is going to do is carve out a negative space, or at least that is the result that you see. If I was to move the Red Builder brush out of the way, what actually happened is that it created a subtractive brush, and the purpose of a subtractive brush is to define an area where mass has been removed from our map. All right, so there's a, a quick look at CSG subtract. Now all we have left is CSG intersect and de-intersect, and what these are going to do is perform Boolean operations with the Red Builder brush, and it behaves in two different styles based on whether or not you are uh, intersecting with solid geometry or positive space or negative space, additive space or, uh, or subtractive space, if you will. So here I've taken the additive brush that we had earlier, which in the top view is defined by this blue brush, and I have overlapped it with the red builder brush so that their corners are passing through one another. And now I'm going to click the CSG intersect button, and notice what happens. The red builder brush conforms to the volume that was included where the two brushes intersected one another. Right, you could kind of look at it as the result of the intersection between those two brushes is now represented by the builder brush. That's right, and it didn't actually add or subtract any geometry from the level. It just changed the shape of the red builder brush. If I wanted to do anything else with this, like maybe add some geometry to the level, I would need to then uh, go on and click the CSG Add button, and I've now created a certain volume that is in the shape that the red builder brush has taken on because of the intersection. Now, with that, let me go ahead and expand my primitives once again, and I'll set my red builder brush back to a standard cube. And we'll slide this back over. I'm going to make the corners, uh, once again, intersect the way they did a moment ago. And this time, however, we're going to hit CSG de-intersect, and we get a much more interesting shape. And uh, if we pull back here and have a quick look at this, in fact, I might need to get a little fancy with the placement of my lights. Let me make this viewport nice and big. Uh, we'll move this light over here, and then I'm going to add this uh, volume to the level. And check out what we have. We've got the, some nice shadowing in the way. We have everything that was included in the red builder brush except where it intersected with the uh, additive brush. All right, or rather, it's basically the opposite of intersect, where intersect kept only the things that were involved in the intersection. 
de intersect will keep things only outside of the intersection. So you see the only parts of the brush that remain were the parts that were outside of the other brush that it was intersecting. That's right. Now just a quick warning, sometimes when using brushes that are derived from intersection and de intersection, especially when using it with uh, in between two complex shapes, you can end up with uh, final geometry for your level, world geometry, that is not quite clean, that has too many cuts in it, or uh, is in other ways inefficient for the engine. So be really careful about using this, and don't use it if you don't have to. Remember that in general, BSP is used to very basically rough out the overall shape and volume of your level and nothing else. Anything else as far as uh, decoration or individual items in your level that are supposed to be important should probably be handled using static meshes. So with that, that is all of the options available to you in the CSG operations of the toolbox.